the sun was setting on Jim and Hugh. They have been on a wonderful journey, searching for another unique animal native to South Africa, the bushbuck. During the hunt, they were pleasantly interrupted and found good cause to re-evaluate their current situation. We've actually got a common diker spotted. We're up here on top of the ridge and we're looking for um, bush buck, yeah. you know. We've seen a couple over the way, probably about a half a mile, three quarters of a mile off. Not enough time for light. And we had this common diker spotted right down about 250 to 300 yards, right over this hill. And uh, feeding up a ravine towards us, you know. And maybe, 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 maybe we'll give him five minutes, maybe he'll come towards us. If not, we're gonna have to maybe go on 20 yards. Yeah. Steal a bit of yard just trying to we were just trying to wait until, uh, see if there's any bush buck come out, because we'd rather take a bush buck, but this is a really nice day. He's a nice duck. I'm going to give him five minutes. If not, we're going to take him. Jim had been seeing plenty of these little animals throughout his hunt, and now his prayer for a diker might have a chance to be answered. The common diker is one of about 19 small to medium-sized antelope species native to sub-Saharan Africa. Dikers are shy and elusive creatures with a fondness for dense cover. They are not normally found in forest areas, although they will take refuge in forests when eluding a predator. The diker is usually seen at dawn and dusk in open scrub country. Their name comes from the Afrikaans word for diver and refers to their practice of diving into tangles of shrubbery. With a slightly arched body and the front legs shorter than the hind legs, they are well shaped to penetrate thickets. They are primarily browsers rather than grazers, eating leaves, shoots, seeds, fruit, buds and bark, and often follow flocks of birds or troops of monkeys to take advantage of the fruit they drop. We only have a few minutes of light left, under, under 45 minutes, and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna look around a little bit more and see if we can see a, a bush buck before we decide yeah. to take yeah, him. Yeah, before huh? we decide to take him, absolutely. Yeah, so just give him a few more minutes, five, yeah. ten minutes before we shoot him. Five. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's getting dark. It's getting dark, yeah. yeah. Is he behind that bush right now? Yeah. There he comes, Jimmy. He looks quite good to me, eh? Yeah, yeah. He looks about, a good one. He looks about on his ears. And anything on his ears and over is a great diker. Well, I put, him at, I, I put him at about five inches. Very cool. Well, do you think we should? I think we should maybe get, get down forward. Yeah. Maybe steal a couple of yards on him. It's going to be a long shot. Yeah. But let's do it, eh? So small. I mean, their their bodies are only like yeah. this much through. You know. I think it'll be a little bit bigger than you think it is, buddy. Yeah. Man, what a beautiful animal, huh? Oh yeah. I haven't seen his horns yet, but he. Oh. Oh man. They are tiny, tiny. As the sun sets on the magnificent Kauri Valley, another successful hunt comes to an end. Well, here we are with the common diker. He's a really exceptional animal. He's actually got white all over his face. He, uh, he's definitely away from the other ones and kind of like on his own. And yeah, well, normally, normally dikers are normally solitary animals. Oh, they are? Yeah, um, either they pair up with the, with the female or the males are by themselves. Generally, they live in pairs. Uh -huh. um, I would say that this guy would have done his job with the female. He would have been kicked out by a male more in his he's prime. He's graying here in the yeah, back. Yeah, he's, he's really thin. He's not in good condition, but he's got a lovely set of horns. He really has. I mean, he's, he's quite, a lot of, quite a lot of his bases are covered by hair. He's closed on five inches. Wow. Five inch diker is a really exceptional animal. The common diker isn't noted as being the most beautiful of the antelope species, but they are one of the most elusive. Not only did Jim secure one of the hardest antelope species to track, 
he capitalized on an opportunity that presented itself and took down a high record book ram.